Hello and welcome to Bioinformatics and Computational Biology Lecture. This is Lecture A in the Reverse Fictionology Series. And in Reverse Fictionology Series, we are designing B and T cells multi epitope subunit vaccine for the SARS coronavirus 2. Uh, previously, we uh, select we talked about the SARS coronavirus 2, its spine glycoprotein, and then we have predicted and selected the best CTL and HTL epitopes, and then we constructed a vaccine sequence using the best CTL and HTL epitopes, and then we uh, generated a secondary structure for the vaccine, and now we are going to construct a 3D model a tertiary structure for the vaccine sequence in this uh, lecture six. For better understanding and for more convenience, we have divided this uh, lecture, this lecture 6 to uh, multiple sub lectures. And this is the lecture 6, a part of the uh, like of this lecture. And in this uh, uh, part, we will uh, talk about the different methods uh, that are used for protein modeling to generate the uh, structure of the protein. And the different tools that are used for the protein modeling, we will talk about that. We have uh, three different techniques that are used to uh, generate a 3D model for the vaccine, uh, for the protein, uh, in this case, vaccine sequence. The first one is the homology modeling. The second one is uh, threading and the third one is reissue modeling. The best technique out of all these is that the homology modeling. In case we do not uh, get the desired structure using homology modeling technique, then we go for the threading. In, in in case if we do not still do not get our uh, desired structure using the threading technique then we will go for the ab initio modeling that is our uh, final option the first one is the homology modeling proteins with similar sequence are more likely to have similar structural orientation that means that uh, two sequences that have similar sequence must have uh, similar structural orientation that means that uh, they must have a similar structure this is the principle of the homology modeling in uh, homology modeling technique uh, templates are identified from the protein uh, data bank uh, for the query sequence in this case we will provide our vaccine sequence that will be the query sequence and from the protein data bank the protein data bank basically have uh, 3d models of uh, thousands of sequences available uh, the sorry structures uh, uploaded by uh, scientists and researchers from all around the world from protein data bank a template will be identified now what is a template a template is basically a, a structure based on that our Q, a structure for our query sequence will be generated so how we will identify that template from the protein data bank for that, we will be using BLAST key search tool of the NCBI, the basic local alignment search tool. And this search tool will uh, search for the uh, best template that could be used to uh, generate our structure. We have certain criteria for the template. Just like for example, the template must have 60% similarity with our uh, sequence. And it must have a 95% or more than 95% uh, coverage of the vaccine sequence that means that uh, uh, if our sequence is 100 amino acid then the template that is identified must have more than 60 percent similarity with our vaccine sequence and the template must be more 95 or more than 95 amino acids and if this criteria is not met uh, if uh, the similarity and the query coverage uh, to the vaccine sequence reduces the uh, structural quality will reduce it uh, by itself. This is the graphical illustration of the homology modeling. As you can see, this is the unknown structure. We have only provided a sequence. We do not know the structure of this uh, right and now. So we provide the sequence. And uh, the BLAST search tool will uh, search for the different uh, Templates from the protein data bank and it will align its uh, the query sequence to the template sequence as you can see the alignment and then it will identify a template as you can see uh, in this case this template has been identified for this sequence and you can see the alignment the similarity between the sequence. So now based on this template uh, 
and uh, as we know that the strength, the, if the sequence is same that means that the structural orientation will be the same so structure is generated uh, for the uh, for this unknown sequence as you can see here this is the 3d structure model the different servers and the softwares that are used for the homology modeling includes the swiss model and the raptor x that are online available servers for use and the molecular operating environment and modeler uh, software that are used for homology modeling next uh, the next is the threading technique the threading is somehow similar to the homology modeling but in homology modeling one complete template is identified while in threading technique uh, different small portions are identified for example if we have a hundred amino acid sequence then it tries to uh, then the threading technique tries to uh, identify small similarities from different proteins like for example uh, in 100 amino acid sequence if uh, 1 to 20 amino acid is similar to one protein uh, that is uh, for example 900 amino acid but that uh, 10 to 20 amino acid sequence is similar between the query and the template then that portion of the template is used for the 1 to 20 amino acid and then for the next 10 to 15 also amino acid our next uh, portion from next template is taken based on similarity and then so on so that is using uh, 10 to 15 templates or more than templates as it identifies depends on the server and depends on the sequence provided and so it will search for uh, different templates for uh, multiple templates and of those templates only a small portion a small piece of the template will be collected based on the sequence similarity with the query sequence and all those uh, small portions of different templates will be uh, combined and a structure will be generated for the query sequence so this is how the threading technique uh, work uh, and uh, as you can see uh, in this technique multiple small portions are used as templates multiple templates small portions of those multiple templates are used and a server uh, identifies a set of small peptides uh, that have sequence similarity with different parts of your query sequence and all the identified set of peptides of, of small peptide a small portion of templates are then used to generate a, a model here you can see the uh, and, uh, graphical illustration of the threading technique uh, first you can see here this is the target sequence that is provided and then if you can see uh, here if you can see this portion is similar and this portion is taken from this template the next portion from this template and then the third portion is taken from this template and then from this and then from other multiple templates and this as you can see not a single template is used multiple templates small portions from multiple templates are used based on sequence similarity and all the small portions are taken from these templates and a sequence a structure is generated for our 3d model so this is how the this technique works and uh, the servers that we have for the uh, threading technique are fire2 and itacer um, but uh, itacer already have a function that is uh, epinitio modeling now we will move on to the epinitio modeling so what is epinitio modeling Ebnitio modeling is a bit different than the homology modeling and the threading technique of protein development. So this, the Ebnitio modeling basically develop the structure from the uh, from the scratch, from the very small uh, portions. And that depends on uh, the server that you are using and the algorithms that this server is using. For example, the protein made model is constructed based on three amino acid and, and nine amino acid uh, sequence similarity like for example multiple sequences are uh, identified multiple templates are identified from that only three or uh, three amino acid sequence or nine amino acid sequence is taken and a pool of library is generated and based on and then there is a quality evaluation of all those small uh, three amino acid and uh, nine amino acid uh, uh, templates these smart templates and then uh, but uh, this initial uh, modeling requires extensive computational resources because uh, uh, it needs uh, just because it needs uh, 
that it is using very small uh, amino acid here uh, three amino acid to nine amino acid and then here it have to go through multiple quality evaluation and after that a sequence will be generated so it take a lot of time and it is also known as genome modeling physics based modeling or remodeling here is the graphical illustration of the sequence uh, the this method as you can see a target sequence is uh, provided this target sequence is broken down into three or nine amino acid sequences and for each of the three and nine amino acid sequences a pool of library of small small templates are generated and this, these templates are evaluated and based on that a small uh, structures are generated that are then evaluated and a structure is uh, generated this is how the homology modeling work for the homology modeling we have uh, uh, sorry for the ibnisho modeling uh, we have robeta and the itesl server however these two server also have uh, threading and uh, homology modeling available thanks for watching and uh, if you have any question then let me know in the comment section below